Hi guys, so this is a website that I designed earlier for someone and as you can see it has an automatic scroll carousel I have the tutorial in my playlist so just go through my videos if you want to learn how to do this auto scroll but that's not why we are here I'm going to show you the effect and the advantage of the scroll to top so as you can see this is a very lengthy website with so many features contact details and uh, location and several other things so when the user gets to the top the bottom of the screen like this you don't want to stress him or her going to the top again just to reach your nav bar and navigate and get to other features all you have to do is just create this scroll to top button so you click on it like this and it scrolls to the top of the screen so let's learn how to do that very fast <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back. So this is a website that I designed earlier. This is a website I designed earlier for someone. And as you can see, the content is much and um, you want to create the best experience for the user. That's why product design is a combination of UI design and UX design. So when the user comes to the bottom of a lengthy website like this, you don't want the person to scroll, it takes much time and efforts to get to the top again. So that's where the scroll to top feature comes in. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to create the scroll to top icon. It's usually uh, an arrow that points up within a background. So let's create that right now. So let's just go ahead and uh, take the ellipse tool. And then let's draw, let's draw a perfect circle. All right. And um, um, the circle seems to be, uh, is it too small? Yeah, it's okay. So let's fill it in with the primary color, active, and um, let me position it properly. It's usually at the bottom right corner of the screen or of the website. So that's where we'll be putting our scroll to top button. And right now, I need to bring in the arrow. So um, you can use an arrow, you can use this arrow right here, but uh, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to import an arrow from um, Feather Icons. So we'll go to Plugins, Install plugin, Plugins, and um, Feather Icons. Let's import an arrow pointing up. I'll group this, and I'll just rename it arrow. And uh, I'll move it outside that frame and delete that empty frame. We don't need it anymore. So I'll highlight both like this. And uh, I'll align to the center. Perfect. And then on um, this arrow, I will uh, change the fill from black to your white. Excellent. And then I will um, I'll group them, and then I'll name it scroll to top, and then I'll put it within the footer, the footer section. All right. So uh, let me reposition it somewhere like here. Okay. So after the design like this, we're going to prototype it. So let me highlight this, and uh, let's head to the prototype section and add an interaction and say on click we'll say scroll to so what are we scrolling to it has to scroll to the navigation bar since it's at the top it automatically scroll to nav bar and we're going to change the animation style to animate animate all right so now that we have that, um, let's test it out. Let's test it out and see what it looks like with and without the scroll to top. So let's present. Okay, so this is the website. This is the prototype. And um, as you can see, I added an auto scroll carousel effect to it. So it, it, it um, scrolls automatically on its own. Uh, bringing out different features and uh, but this now why we are here so let's go to the very bottom so let's assume that you are the user you have this website and you're just scrolling through it like this just to check out some of the features before you you made an inquiry you contacted the customer you just want to see what the website is about so by the time you get it it's very lengthy by the time you get to the bottom of the website like this and you just think about the stress it takes to go back to the top 
you don't really have to do that and start scrolling you want to make everything easy for the user so when the user gets to the button like this and he or she wants to get to the top all he or she just has to do is just to click on this you see this the back to scroll to top so it automatically scrolls to the element that we directed it to and it saves the user so much time and they would cherish that experience for a very long time and they always want to visit the website so let's test it out again scroll and you see it takes you to the top of the website so then that's how you design scroll to top button on figma if you're new to my channel sure you hit the subscribe button leave a like leave a comment in the comment section thank you so much it helps my videos and i'll see you guys next time